Yo, what's going on guys, back in with another video, I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to use the MARP for VS Code extension. So MARP allows you to create a slice for presentation with coding. Uh, you guys can do it in VS Code. So yeah, I'll show you guys like very basics and what you can do with it. It's actually really cool. As you guys can see here, you can make presentations with coding in VS Code. And then, yeah. So what you want to do is go to VS Code and go to the extension bar and type in MARP and then go to MARP for VS Code and download it and install it. So after you're done with that, you're going to want to go to your folder and, and make a new file called anything you want, but I'm just going to name it test.md. That stands for Markdown. So after you do that, for the very top, you have to put three of these dash lines and then you have to put marp true and then put three more dash. That just basically tells us that we want to use marp. And then you can come all the way on top over here and it says open the preview slides. So if you press that, as you can see, we can see the slides. You can preview it and it updates it live. So whatever you code here, it will update it live and you guys can see it over here. So some basic stuff is you guys can change the theme. If you do theme, there's a there's a theme called Gaia. As you guys can see, change the background color. You can also put a title. I'll do YouTube Marp tutorial. And for the theme, there's two themes. You guys can do Control Space. As you guys can see, there's default Gaia and Uncover. If you uncover, um, I'll show you what it, well, what it looks like with uncover later in the video. For now, we just do Gaia. And so, the first thing uh, you guys can put in a heading, which is, I'll just put Marp. So, for a heading, you put a hashtag. If it's 2, it's going to be the H2, basically. If it's 3, H3, as you guys can see, if I type in. This you can see it's smaller. So, if you put one hashtag, it's H1. So, after that, I'll do two hashtags and all writing you can do so much in marp like and then over here you can do bullet points so if you put in one dash space it's a bullet point so i'll do make a text if you want to make it bold you do two stars bold and then two stars so the bold it can be whatever text you want so i'll just do bold then i'll go in i'll do another one and i'll make it make a text underline italic and this will make it italic again it can be whatever text you want under this between these two underlines so italic and i'll make another bullet point and say add a code snippet so what this does is you can basically add a text inside a block and it will be it will show it in that block so for the custom we can use back ticks so you can put three back ticks and uh, you can put any type of um, language you want here, so I'll do JS. Go down, type in your code, so I'll do console.log, hello world. And then put three backticks again. That's how you basically add a, a code snippet to your presentation. And if you want to add another slide, you do three more dash lines and that adds another slide. And in this slide, what I'll do is I will say you can also add an image yes that's right so in order to add an image you do quotation mark brackets and this is basically if the image doesn't load this text will show so i'll do this is tech coder and then you put parentheses after it and you put the image um as our uh, source so for my i'll go to my channel i'll click on my thing um, profile picture on YouTube copy image address and I'll just put it in there as you guys can see loader you don't need any quotation marks on anything for the source and after that I will do two more things uh, thank you for listening listening all right and I'll do three more hashtags for h3 this presentation was made by and over here i can add in a, a hyperlink so i'll do tech coder 
and again parentheses uh, I'll put in my YouTube URL copy that and paste it right here and if I click on TechCoder it will open up my channel so that's basically much it uh, for this video guys um, I just wanted to introduce Morp and tell you the big, uh, basic stuff you can obviously do other things you don't need to put in a code over here for example you can just do that and it'll just put in the text but if you do code it will color coding basically and you can do like python for example and we can do or we can do print hello as you can see so guys that's basically much it for this video if you guys have any questions let me know down in the description below um i'll answer them and yeah for the theme i was gonna to show you guys so if you delete all of it it's like this right you can do control space to see all the themes and there is one cover which so basically stacks items in different ways so there's more you can do so much in more so like stuff like this i think you can create your own theme too uh you can style it with css also so if you guys want me to make another video on how to do that let me know down in the description below yeah guys thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video peace